vlog and I'm here with um, my son, Maiden, and we're going to make some, he's going to help me, we're going to make some mashed potato and there's only five ingredients and it's, it's my own recipe and um, it's, I don't cook with recipes, it was just what I had in the fridge last night, so now I claim it to be my recipe. <laughs> right, so there's only five ingredients, right, and it's the most fucking easy mashed potato and it'll be the best mashed potato, right? <laughs> That you'll ever eat. Now I'm just going to show you. So you get, so that's that's dill. I freeze my dill when I get a lot of it. I just freeze it, right? And then some coconut cream, and then we've got some Celtic sea salt. You can use normal salt if you want. That's just some ground pepper and a bag of potatoes. Right. I'm going to peel these things, and then um, put them in a pot with boiling water, and then um, we'll go from there. All right. Okay gang, so here it is, it's boiling away. Now what you want to do is, uh, like, as you can see, I've peeled and like quartered and, you know, just halved my potatoes. I don't put them in whole, I've seen people do that. I think that's a bit strange because it's going to take longer to cook. Now I've put some salt in that water and some pepper, right, because I like to put it in the water. Uh, don't ask me why, I just do that. You don't have to do that. Now, how much salt and how much pepper? That's entirely up to how much pepper and salt you like. I don't use much salt, so, um, uh, yeah, so I'm not going to tell you how much salt to put. You just put it to taste. And the way to do that is when you're mashing it up, just have a bit of a taste of the mash and see if it needs salt. If it needs a bit of salt, put some more salt on it. it needs more pepper, put some more pepper on it. So I'm just going to wait for these to start cooking. Right, at the moment they're rock hard because <laughs> I just put them in. But, um, yeah, so once they're done, you should be able to just put your knife into them really easy. All right, um, uh, I'll see you in the next step. Okay, so now it's been boiling for a while. Now, as you can see, watch my knife just easily go in through that potato. So that, that means they're done. They're ready to be mashed. Okay, so now I'm going to pour this water out. But I'm going to leave probably a, like a, a little bit, of, about about that much water like real fuck all amount of water in there just to because i don't want to add any um nut milks or anything like that or soy milk i just want to use the water that's in there because it's got salt in it so yeah don't pour all the water out i mean i'll show you i'll, I'll pour it out and then i'll come back and i'll show you how much i've left in there this is a whole bag a, a two kilo bag of potatoes by the way all right i'll see you in a sec <laughs> okay Maiden's going off, he's like loving the steam. So I don't know if you can see that, but there's a little bit of water coming up, see there? So about, I, I'll probably say about quarter, like not even quarter, but just a bit below quarter of what, um, where it's sitting, do you know what I mean? Like from where the potatoes are. Can you see that? I don't know if you can see that. So you know what, to make it easier, if you're getting confused, tip all the water out and add, add water as you need it, right? Because sometimes you don't even need the water. Okay. I'll see you on the next step. Okay. Now, I've got my frozen... Now, it doesn't have to be frozen dill. I just have mine frozen because I, when I buy it in bulk, I, I try to free, I freeze it so I don't waste it. Okay, so I'm just going to put, like, you know, a couple of decent pinches in that because a whole bag of, you know... I've got some stems in there, but that not matter. Right. And then, with this, I, I made some last night. I used half a can of this. So I'm going to pour the rest in, all right? So just remember that when you're using the, uh, when you're leaving water in it, that you're going to have another half a can of this as well. Okay. Now that's it. Now you just start mashing. All right. I'll see you once once I've uh, finished mashing. It's a bit hard to do it one <laughs> one hand. Right, I'll see you in a sec. So now I don't know how you like your mash, but I like mine pretty fluffy. So you can sort of see that it's nice and fluffy really good and it's got all that dill going through it's going to be beautiful i can tell now what you do now is you probably try try a bit with a with a fork and then see if it needs salt or more pepper and see you know to your taste <laughs> now i'm going to serve this up i'm also steaming some veg because you can't just have mash with on its own or well, you can now i don't i don't do this mash with gravy because i don't think it needs it all right i'll see you when i'm done plating it up Okay, so here you have it. Here is the end result of my uh, dill uh, coconut cream mashed potato. Here you go. And I've just garnished it to make it look like I'm a fucking chef. 
with some basil from the garden. What do you think, maiden? Yum! Here's a spoon. Dig in, buddy. <laughs> you go for it. <laughs> All right, gang. I hope you like that recipe. It is really fucking good. I reckon. I suggest you try. I know it's just a mashed potato recipe, but mate, it's the best mashed potato recipe you'll ever have. All right, I'm Rob Wog. I hope you like it. Go vegan. See ya.